Hello everyone, Mrs. Korn here, Instructional Tech Specialist at East High School, and today we are going to look at how to create a podcast easily with WeVideo. To log into WeVideo with your D303 account, just go to class link and click on the WeVideo button. It'll automatically log you in and register you for our upgraded district account. To create a podcast, you come over here to create new, click the button, and go down to podcast. It'll ask you what project you want to save it in. So go ahead and pick the appropriate project. If you don't see a project you want, you can always go back to the dashboard, add a project to put it in. I have a miscellaneous one, so I'm going to put it right in here and click next. Then it automatically prompts you to start recording. When you click record, it may pop up to ask you to allow use of the microphone with WeVideo. Make sure you say allow. And then it gives you a countdown and starts recording in three, two, one. And then you can just start speaking for your podcast. So make sure you have it ready what you want to say for your podcast before you get in here to WeVideo. When you are done, you will click stop. You can preview it by pressing the play button. If you don't like it, you can record it again. Or if you click save, it will pop it down into your WeVideo timeline. It adds a brand new track for your voiceover and pops it right in there. All right, so we recorded our podcast here. You can go back into My Media and narrate if you want to add another segment of your podcast. If you have recorded a podcast or a commercial or an interview on a device other than WeVideo, like a phone, or you have it saved at your laptop, you can just click import. You can load it to Google from Google Drive. You can browse to select your um, device and load it up from there. Once you do that, it pops right into your My Media folder. And then you can drag it down into your voiceover track. Now that we have multiple tracks in here, let's add some background music and some sound effects. So here we have an audio track and a voiceover track. It's good to have them separated so that we can layer our music. Maybe you want to start out with some sort of um, introduction, introductory music. So let's slide our voiceover a little bit that way. And let's go to audio to add some music. Take a look. They've got some theming for their music. Uh, let's say we've got a happy podcast. We'll click see all to see all of the music in the happy category. Once you find one you think you might like, you can preview it by clicking on it and then dragging it down to the audio tab. Now notice it's a really long song. So in order to easily chop it to make it the length that you want, you can preview it by pressing the play button. And maybe you want it to go a little bit into your podcast and then click the speak the scissors and you can delete the whole rest of it now if this is the same music you want to use throughout your podcast to give it that same theming all you have to do is highlight it click control c move your blue line click control v and then you can pop it in between each of your segments All right, so let's take a look and listen to it. And then you can just start speaking for your podcast. All right, so now notice that it kind of stops abruptly there at the end. You can easily click on the segment, click uh, hover over the three lines, and then click on open audio options to adjust the volume, to adjust the fading. Um, you can easily fade your audio in by clicking the fade button. 
You can adjust the timing that way. Like maybe you want it one second, two second, however many seconds you want it to slowly fade in. Or you can adjust it with these um, blue lines that way as well. You can also adjust the volume of this particular um, music selection. Let's say the music pops in, but it's overpowering your voiceover. You can lower the volume so that it is the appropriate level for background music. Now let's listen to it and see how that makes a difference. Notice how it fades in. And then you can just start you can hear it, but it's not too loud and it's not so overpowering sure it. So you can do the same thing then to each of these. If you want it to fade in or fade out, you will do it the same way. Now let's come over and take a look at these. Notice there's that blank spot. That means we, there will be um, some noiseless time in our podcast. So you can always just slide everything and we video is nice because it kind of pops it into place for you. If you want it to overlap, you can, otherwise it pops. So it'll start right when the, um, the next one ends. So as long as you have a clip somewhere along the length of your podcast, you will be good to go. All right. So now let's say we want, um, sound effects for our podcast. Sometimes on podcasts, they'll applaud or they'll do a boing um, or hitting a ball on a bat for baseball. There's all sorts of options with that. We come back to our audio tab. If you're already in there, you'll click the back button to get back. We'll search in audio. Let's look for applause. My options will pop up here. You can click on them to hear what it is. When you find one that is appropriate, you can just drag it down, put it in your audio tab. Notice it turns green. That means it's a good spot for it. And then you can adjust it by dragging the ends and moving it so it's exactly the point where you want it. So let's listen to that for your podcast. Notice again that it kind of overpowered my voice. So if I double click, now I can go back into my volume. I can bring it lower. Again, if you want it to fade in or fade out, you can do that. And now let's listen to it. There we go. So that's how you can add special effects to your podcast. So once you're finished, you have all your transitions in, your background music, your sound effects, your voiceovers, your commercials, everything is good to go. You can finish it by coming up over here on the right hand side. You'll click finish. It will prompt you to have a title for your podcast. Click set. Notice it automatically chooses audio only for a podcast. I recommend choosing WeVideo and Google Drive as your um, destination for download. That way it's always going to be in WeVideo if you need it. And it'll also create a folder in Google Drive. And all of your WeVideos that are exported will be saved there as well. If you are going to ever be sharing this podcast with the public from WeVideo, then you'll need to turn that on and you'll click export. So now it'll go into a queue. You don't have to sit here and watch it proceed. You can go do other things. It'll send you an email when it's done with the link. So you can share the link from your Google Drive folder. You can share the link from WeVideo. You can upload it from Google Drive, however your teacher wants you to share it with him or her. If you need anything along the way, please let us know.